What's up guys, Evil Deer here. So we're back for another Esperanto slash World of Warcraft lesson. Now there won't be one tomorrow because the server's actually down, so I'm gonna do probably a vlog in Esperanto. Now, let's just start with a little bit of revision. So what was the word for gnome? Or um yeah, just gnome, okay? So it was gnomo. And what was the word for uh undead? It was uh, let's just get a little bit closer to this guy. It was Malmordatulo. Malmordatulo. And what was the word for uh, troll, for instance? It was Trollo. Trollo. And as you can see, we're collecting stolen uh, rifles at the moment. So the word for rifle, um, I actually taught this in my. What series was it? It was the uh, Left 4 Dead gaming series and it was uh, Fusillo for rifle so the word for rifle is Fusillo and stolen is uh, Stelita to steal is Steli in Esperanto and remember how I previously in the last lesson actually taught you Ita which is like past tense being so like ED in English so Stelita is stolen so Stelita Fusillo so let's just pick up some of them Ooh, an apple the word for apple is Pomo, Pomo. So let's just kill another couple of these guys and pick up our Stelite Fusilui. See, I made a plural there by adding the I sound at the end and the Oi sound at the end. So the Oi at the end of the noun and the I at the end of the um, adjective. So a single stolen gun or single stolen rifle is Stelita Fusilo, but plural stolen, so more than one, is Stelite Fusilui. So, yeah. You just have to get used to hearing that. Now I know in English we don't pluralize adjectives, but in Esperanto we do. So the adjective is always in sync with its noun. Now, just continue off a little bit more revision. So what was the word for um, uh, ostrich? So the word for ostrich was struto. struto. Oh, did I get that cash? Ah, do you remember the word for money? Or cash? It was mono. Mono. And what was the word for thigh? It was femuro. And how did we turn that into like the drumstick thigh that you got off the birds out there, the strutoi? That was femurajo. Femurajo. Remember, ajo is a suffix and it means thing and it's when attached to like meaty products and stuff like that. Meaty products, god, that is terrible. Um, it means like an actual food made out of whatever it is it's attached to. Okay, so let's get that. So I've just got to kill a couple of these guys. Go over there, collect some more. Have I got all my rifles yet? Uh, I'm not sure. I'll just keep killing people until I um, do that. This is probably the worst thing in the, in the world that Esperance can say. I'm just going to keep killing people. Well, remember, uh, do you remember what the word for mobs was? Um, if you're not up to scratch with gaming slaying mobs, as I said in the previous lesson, it's just any generic character that's usually something you kill in a game. So we use Estulo. Estulo, just because it has no associated meaning, but it means a being. So, okay, so I'm gonna kill a few more of these dudes. You can see these guys; they're called bristleback thorn calls. Now, do you remember how to say bristleback? So that was hirita dorisa. So we want to learn um, thorn now. So the word for thorn is dorino. Dorino. Okay, so it's spelled D-O-R-N-O, -O, Dorno. Let's just kill a couple more of these gun thieves. I guess we should learn that word as well. So, gun. Now, we know rifle is fusilo, but gun is more generic than a rifle. So, the word to shoot, or the verb in Esperanto, is puffy. Puffy, okay? So, gun thief. Now, gun is being used as an adjective here, so we've got to use the a uh at the end of whatever word we choose. And the word for gun is pafilo, okay? Now, the ilo that you hear at the end, that is a suffix and it means tool. So, what is it's basically saying a shooting tool. That's a gun, a shooting tool. So, now we have hirita dorosa pafila, and then we have thief. So yeah, thief is stelisto, okay? So you have steel, which is steli. Okay, let me just pick this up. And isto means like a profession, because, well, I guess you could 
the Estelanto. Um, but I won't get into that right now. That would just confuse the hell out of you. So yeah, it's the Stelisto. So Hiruta Dorsa uh, Pafila Stelisto. That's really long. So I'm just going to say Estulo from now on when regarding these guys and everyone else I kill around here. I don't know why I'm killing all these. I should just get some of them and then go back and handle my quest. Okay. So pick that up. Now do you remember what the word was for Thorn I just taught you? It was Dorno. Dorno. Now look at that lovely lake out there. Isn't that beautiful? Now the word for lake in Esperanto is Lago. Lago. So I'll... I'm shooting a lot of words at you at the moment, but I will randomly refer to them later on, just kind of to reinforce these words that we're learning. Okay, what was the word for money again? It was mono. So, let's learn. How would you say he is a mob? Okay. You remember how to say he is? Li estas. And what was the word for mob? It was estulo. So, Li estas estulo. So I think I've done all these quests. I'm just going to run back over and hand them in. Now, if there is big running periods in this game, I will at times just randomly cut it and then just start up again wherever we get to. Okay, so I'm just going to hand this quest back in, see what I got. So I've done the that one. Ooh, some new pants. And a... Oh no, that's what I'm handing in. And a new shirt by the looks of it. Cool, cool. So, battle balls. Okay, so I'm gonna go get the battle balls, which I taught you, uh, which I spoke about in the previous lesson. So I'm just gonna put on these pants, and the word for pants is pantalono. And I'm gonna put on this. Is that a shirt or a robe? Sorry, it's a robe. Now, a robe is basically a dress, and funnily enough, that's quite easy to remember because the word for dress in Esperanto is adobo, adobo. Okay. Now, I'm just going to head back over here. I might randomly kill one of these, uh, this Campo Struto just here. Now, you see, we've got all these big trees around here. Now, to me, I don't know about you guys, unless you're into, like, all the botanical stuff. Um, these just look like pine trees to me. So, the word for a pine tree is Pino. Pino. It's pretty easy to remember. It's just spelled P-I-N-O. Now, we're going to get some of these battle boars over here. Do you remember what the, uh, word was for battle boar? It was Batal Apro. Take some of these buggers out right now. Pick up his meat. Okay, sorry for the random cut there. I just don't want you guys to have to go through seeing me just basically killing pigs one after the other after the other. And by the way, you notice how I've taught you the word for boar, and that's apodo, but there's also the word for pig. Now, the word for pig is actually podoko. Podoko. Okay, and that sounds like pork. So don't get it confused with, uh, per se, the food that you actually eat, okay? So the word for a pig in Esperanto is porico, but the word for a boar is aporo. And you're probably thinking, what's the difference between the two? Well, basically the difference for those words in Esperanto is that aporo is a wild pig, okay? So that's what a boar generally means in English. Um, while a uh, porico is a domesticated pig. So, yeah, just... God damn it, how many of these things do I have to take out? There we go, got them all. Wait, no, did I? What else am I here to pick up? Apparently I'm here to pick up something else as well. Um, guys, give me a hint. What am I here to get? Okay, so apparently... See, this is something I do all the time. I never read missions. I just go to where the map says to go. And it's actually lucky because when I used to play this game, they didn't even have these like markers on the map. But apparently I'm meant to set fire to these things, so let's do that. Boom! It is on fire. <laughs> Check it out. I just set all the pigs on fire. <laughs> I'm so evil, dear. Okay, how many more of these do I have to do? I'm going to do this one over here. So, we're going to learn the word now for what. Because it's time to start building some serious sentences. This is awesome. I love setting these pigs on fire. Run, little piggy, run! Okay, so the word for what in Esperanto is uh, kio. Kio. And it's spelled K-I-O. Uh, let, me, let me just think. I'm just trying to find something around here I can kind of teach you. Like if we want to say what is that while pointing at this particular piggy here that I'm going to randomly shoot as well, we'd say kio estas tio. Now you heard tio at the end. Tio means that thing, okay? Now, there's a, as you can tell, there's a very like close similarity between the two. So kio means what and tio means that thing or just that, okay? And you'll see why I'm saying that thing in a later episode. 
Um, I'm just going to quickly cut it right here until we get back over there. Okay, so yeah. Um, kio means what and tio means that thing. So, how would you say what is that? It is kio estas tio. Kio estas tio. So if you, for instance, if I'm pointing at this plane strider here and I'm saying what is that, you say kio estas tio, then what would the response be? You'd basically say that is a plane strider. Like that is a plane strider. So the word for that is tio. The word for is is estas. And we know a plane strider is. It is campastruto. So tio estas campastruto. So I'm actually going to start. Whoa, these guys look scary. Okay, I'm just going to randomly shoot these thorn guards. So take that. And take some of that. So if we, I'm just, we're just going to use mob for now, okay? So if we want to say what is that and say that is a mob, so how do you say what is that? Kio estas tio, and how would you say that is a mob? Tio estas estulo, and it looks like I'm going to take out the chief mob here. Now, the way to say chief, um, as in an adjective here, is you'd say chefa. Chefa. Um, if you want to say it as a noun, so for instance, um, that guy is Chief uh, Thorn Mantle, I think his name was. Now, if you want to say um, just Chief, as in like just referencing the Chief without actually describing, you say Chefulo. Now, remember, we've already learned Ulo, okay? Ulo is the suffix for a person. So Chefulo is the Chief. Now let's just go over here and hand in our quests. Now do you remember what the name of this location was, this group of tents? It was the Tendado. Tendado. Let's just pick up these. I'm just going to hand in... Ooh! I have learnt a new spell. I have two. Now let me put this here. So I've got a shield. Cool. And a new attack. Now what am I meant to do from here? Let me just figure this one out. Sorry if I'm a bit like retarded and trying to figure out where I'm meant to go. Okay, oh, okay, I see what I gotta do. I gotta practice it on these things. Okay, cool. So let's just quickly get that out of the way. Now, how would you say, what is that? Kio estas tio? And how would you say, that is a mob? Tio estas estulo? And what was the word for thorn? It was dorno. Now let's just hand this in. Okay, and what was the word for dress? It was robo, robo. And what was the word for, um, uh, what was the other one I learned? Uh, let me just check out my clothes. Oh yeah, okay, so pants. Pantalono. Okay, so we're almost reaching the end of our time here, so let's just practice some new stuff, shall we? So, what we're going to learn now is we're going to learn how to say big. So the word for big is granda, granda, okay? So do you remember what the word for pine tree was? It is pinno. So how would you say that's, um, that is a big pine tree? Tio estas. Granda pinno. Notice how in English we say that is a big pine tree. In Esperanto we don't have a, it just doesn't exist because realistically what it actually just means is um, one. But we don't need to specify that in Esperanto. So we just say tio estas granda pinno. How would you say that is a lake? Tio estas lago. And how would you say that is um, the camp, you know, the grouping of tents. Tio estas tendado. And how would you say that is a big thorn? Tio estas granda dorno. Now I'm going to head over here. I'm going to cut it just before we get there and then we'll just finish out with a tiny bit of revision for the day. Oh my god, it takes forever to walk anywhere in this game. So we've just reached the next little spot. Now, this here isn't actually like just a group of tents anymore. This is a village. It's more than a group of tents. It's got these things in the middle. It's got bridges and stuff. So the word for a village in Esperanto is villaggio. What was that guy up to? Okay, so yeah, it's villaggio. 
So a smaller one is just the grouping of tents. It looks like there's a ton of quests over here. I'm just going to start accepting these so we're going to be ready for the next mission. Now, what was the word for, um, let's just think, uh, for the mob? It was Estulo. What was the word for pine tree? It was Pinno. What was the word for lake? It was Lago. Let's just well, accept man. that as well. What was the word for dress? It was Fedorbo. And what was the word for pants? It was Pantolono. So we've reached the end of this random little episode. Um, as I said, there won't be one tomorrow because the server will be down, so I'll make a vlog instead. So anyway, if you've enjoyed this, give it a like. Um, subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in the next video. And if you're not there, well then, you might find yourself at the bottom of that lagon. <laughs>